When pricing out your 16-inch MacBook Pro, it can be really challenging to weigh all the different options, decide what's best for your needs and for your budget. So today, we're gonna weigh out all those different options for you and price out that 16-inch MacBook Pro, keeping you video editors and photographers in mind, so now you'll be more informed going into your next purchase. First things first, pick the higher tier laptop, and I'll explain why in just a second. The processor. The processor is arguably the most confusing part of the computer to digest. So you have the gigahertz speed, the number of cores, the version of the processor itself, which is i7 or i9, and finally you have the turbo boost speed. My personal recommendation would be to go for the 2.3 gigahertz eight core i9 processor, and here's why. Think of the number of cores as lanes on a highway. A highway that has six cores or six lanes obviously won't be able to handle as much traffic as an eight core or eight lane highway would. So even though the six core has a high gigahertz speed, an eight core or eight lane highway will still be able to handle much more traffic or work or speed. Now that being said, the difference between the 2.3 gigahertz eight core and the 2.4 is so marginal that I would rather stick with the 2.3 and same goes for the turbo boost up to 4.8 gigahertz versus five. I would rather save the money and put it towards memory or graphics for example, but if you have the money and you wanna go for it, do it. And remember earlier when I suggested to start with the higher tier version? Well, I'll let you in on a secret. It's because with the lower tier version, the only processor upgrade option is for the 2.4 gigahertz eight core, not the 2.3. So you might as well save some money and start building your laptop from the higher grade version. Next up, memory. Think of the memory on your computer as your desk at home. So the more memory you have, the larger your desk would be. And the larger the desk, the more space you have to work on different projects and keep them on the go all at one time. The 16 inch comes standard with 16 gigabytes of memory, and that's a great place to start. But if you're like our other video editors and photographers, which I'm assuming you are because you're watching this video, you're gonna be running some heavier applications. So that means Premiere Pro, that means Lightroom, that means Photoshop potentially, and you're gonna want more than 16 gigs. If you're just trying to get the job done and stay within a certain budget, then 32 gigs will do just fine. But if you have the extra cash, you will also be really happy with 64. Personally, I just wouldn't recommend 16 gigs for video editors or photographers. Graphics. The graphics card in your computer is responsible for processing all things graphics, hence the name graphics card. So when you're editing a video and you want to play it back in real time and in full resolution, it is your graphics card that's doing all the heavy lifting. So go for the highest tier option here and that's the, so. Apple decided to pull a fast one on us while we were recording this video and now they offer a new highest tier option for the graphics card, which is the 5600M with eight gigabytes of memory. So although I haven't done my own personal benchmark test yet, they claim it offers a 75% speed bump over the previous highest tier, which is now the middle tier technically. And that was the original one I was going to suggest. So now this tier, this new highest tier is a $700 bump. If you notice on the Apple website, the first two options or the first two tiers are almost identical, except that the middle option or the second tier has a little bit more memory. So for the extra $100, $25, I would suggest going with the middle tier, the 5500M with the eight gigabytes of memory. But if you have the budget and you feel like going all out, then definitely I would recommend the 5600M. So let's get back to the video. Storage. So this part is more up to you because the amount of storage that you choose has the least overall impact on the performance of your computer. Two terabytes is what I would suggest because that's already a ton of storage and I know that I'm going to be keeping most of my files on external SSDs. That's just the way I work. On the opposite end of the scale, there's an eight terabyte option, which is, that's a lot of memory to carry around in a laptop and it's also really expensive. It's $2,200. So it's up to you if you have the extra cash 
cache and how you prefer to store your files. Four terabytes is a really good middle ground. That's also a great option if you wanna spend the extra money, but again, it totally depends on your needs and your budget. Last but not least, and probably the most important question about your 16 inch laptop. Are you going to be choosing silver or space gray? And in my opinion, it's not an option. You're choosing space gray. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a like down below. Subscribe if you're not already and hit the bell to get notified when I post new videos and enjoy the feeling of being more prepared when buying your 16 inch Mac.